Hello everybody, tonight we're going to be doing something a little bit different, just a little, not much, only a little. And that is test driving the new Dark Knight's Metal uh, base set with each of the Crises. We're going to do Crisis 1 tonight, we'll do Crisis 2 another night, 3 and 4 later in the week. So, we're just going to, I'm probably going to adapt it a little. I know a few, few people have tried this already and had some difficulty, so I'm not surprised by that considering... I believe it's like 30 less cards in the main deck for Dark Knight's Metal versus some of the other base sets. Additionally, the new mechanics of buying villains, gaining weakness cards, and the more powerful versions of weakness cards that come with Dark Knight Metal, is go Dark Knight's Metal is going to make it increasingly difficult. But on the plus side, we get additional heroes and stuff, as is the main mechanic of Dark Knight's Metal. So we're just gonna jump right in tonight, and I'll talk a bit about Dark Knight's Metal since it is brand new. And it's a little different from the other base sets. So, the things that are new is when you buy... Because there's... Okay. If you read the storyline, there is the Batman Who Laughs. Da-da-da-da! There he is. Okay. So, his mechanic is... When you buy a supervillain, any supervillain out here, you gain two weakness cards, but you then get to rescue a hero that's underneath the Batman Who Laughs. Okay? That's pretty cool. So that allows you to have multiple heroes. You can, however, also lose some of those heroes. For instance, if at any time you play two weaknesses from your hand, uh, you have to lose one of the heroes you control. That can be bad, obviously. You want as many heroes as possible in order to help yourself be a little stronger, face the new threats, etc. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'll go over a few other things like kicks are, being, are replaced by uh, Breakthrough. They're still plus two power, but they also come with the additional ability to destroy vulnerabilities and weaknesses, which we're going to use quite a bit. And mechanically, as far as playing goes, I think the only other thing I can think of that's vastly different is you have to play weaknesses first. In other base sets, you can play weaknesses whenever you want. You can play them not at all. But in this, if you have any weaknesses, you have to play them first. This is because of the whole... You play two weaknesses, and there's a uh, you take some damage, essentially. If you didn't have to play those weaknesses in the first place, then, well, there you go. You'd be fine, right? So, let's give it all a shot. Oh, wait, we gotta pick a hero first. So, there's this hero stack here. We're just gonna draw the top two. Let me shuffle it up a bit, actually. Uh, I'm not sure how well it was shuffled beforehand. I played yesterday. And I have a habit of alphabetizing these things, so who knows how actual shuffle it is. So, we'll just split the deck right there. We'll draw two cards. We're going to pick one to start with. Ooh, these are pretty good. So, if you... Once turn each of your turns, plus one power for each metal card you control. That's pretty good. Metal is a new card type. We'll go over that as they come out. And once turn each of your turns, if you control two or more villains or superpowers, plus one power. We're not going to be controlling very many villains. So, I think the smart choice here is to go with Cyborg. I'm not sure what the exact count is of metal cards versus other cards in the game, but I do know that metal cards tend to come out pretty quickly. At least in the game I played yesterday, I think there was two in the initial lineup alone. This will be less um, often occurring, less less frequent, because I do have the Crisis 1 card shuffled into the top half of this deck just to increase the odds of them coming out. So let's fill up this lineup. Two... Three, four, and five. Ooh, magic. Early on, that's good. So we have Arkham Breakout. When a villain with an attack enters the lineup, treat it as if it were a first appearance attack. Each attack uh, e attack against each against all players. I think we have one with an attack. Yes, so we'll take care of that in a second. Stack on going. At the end of your turn, if you did not buy or gain a card from the lineup, add the top card of the main deck to the lineup. We do not want that happening. We do not. So, this guy's going to attack us. Each foe gains two weaknesses. That's really bad for this early in the game, because two weaknesses is pretty uh, terrible. Two, three, four, five for our first hand here. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Oh, five power. Five power is good. Um, I think multiverse map is going to be very useful for us. You know what? I think we need to get magic. No, we don't, because choose a card you play this turn, play it again. That means you would play two weaknesses, so we do not want magic. We want multiverse map, and we'll get breakthrough to take care of weaknesses. All right. 
New card comes out. No attacks, that's good. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we know what it's going to be. It is one, two power. With that two, we can only afford one thing, so we're just going to take it. Don't really want it, but the issue is that you do have to deal with Raz al Ghul if you don't buy something from the lineup. So we're looking at four as a minimum up there, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Yesterday I played this, and I played as Mr. Terrific. I had a great time. I'm hoping that Mr. Terrific comes up again this game because, well, I had a lot of fun doing it. So one, two, three, four, five. Come on, one weakness only. One weakness only. All right. So we're going to play this weakness. Then we can play Breakthrough. You may return this card to the stack. If you do, destroy a weakness or vulnerability you control. So that's two power, and this is gone. Choose any number of players. Each of those players reveals a top card and may discard it. Um, we will discard this vulnerability. So we're at two, three, four power. We're going to go with Power of the Red, I think. No, let's go with Animal Man. He's going to be a pretty much... Ooh. No, that's not going to happen too often just yet. New card comes out. Hey, a new Animal Man. One, two, three, four, five. We need to get another breakthrough because, as you saw, I had to d uh, not destroy, but return the one I already used. And I have another weakness still. So that's one, two, three power. I actually screwed that up. I was supposed to play the weakness first. So, weakness first. So one, two, three power still. We are going to buy a breakthrough because it's the only thing we can afford. But because of Ra's al Ghul, that's two cards coming out. One, two. One of those cards has an attack. And that attack reads foe. Each foe puts a location he contains into the discard pile. If none do, draw a card. Well, the lineup's not about to draw a card, so that's just the end of that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We got, hey, there's that weakness. Guess I'll put that out. Reveal the top card of the main deck, plus power equal to its VP value. It is worth one. And then you may put it on the bottom of your deck. Yeah, we'll put a villain on the bottom of the deck. No problem. Goodbye, villain. So that's worth one, two, three total. Again, can't buy anything from the lineup. Have to get a breakthrough. This is very crisis heavy. It's very strange. Two, three, four, five. I swear, I just shuffled into the top half. Not the only top cards. So I didn't buy a card, so two have to come out. Um. All right, Quiver of Arrows. I may look at the top card of my deck and may discard it. We will leave it there. One, two, three power. So with that three power, uh, I think we'll get another breakthrough. Ooh, no, Speed Force. Because Speed Force is also two power, but I can defend against some of these villain attacks I'm taking right now. That's why I'm doing that. Two, three, four, five. All right, well, this is two, and I can choose a card type. We're going to say a starter card, so one of the yellow ones, punches or weaknesses. If the top card of my deck is that card type, I get to draw a card. So we're just going to shuffle this up, and I'll split it there. Is it a starter? It's not. Uh, so I leave it. Okay, so that's just two power. Three, four. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, not going to play that yet play this vulnerability three four and then use this breakthrough to destroy said vulnerability five six with that six we're gonna buy john constantine get him nice and early in the game new card coming out another magic okay maybe i should get one of those magics two three four five would certainly be a good way to get rid of punches all right we have to play this weakness then we're gonna use breakthrough on it so that's two power Three, we will look at the top card of our deck. We may discard it, uh, we'll leave it there. Reveal the top card of the main deck, plus power equal to its VP, one. So that's gonna be three, four power total. With that, we'll get House of Mystery. That's the draw card every time we get John Constantine out here, so might as well. New card coming out. One, two, three, four, five. How we doing? All right, that's a pretty good one, two. Three, four, five total. We're going to buy one magic. And that's going to be that turn. Now we're going to focus on villains. I have a few cards now that I am pretty uh, comfortable with. 
some of my favorite cards actually, basically all the giant Constantine ones. And we're going to use those to slim down our deck to just punches, get rid of vulnerabilities. And then we're going to start taking villains out. Well, we're going to take villains out along the way at the same time, I should say. They're not going to last. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Draw one of them, put the other on top of your deck, or destroy it. Um, we will take this punch, and we will destroy Quiver of Arrows, I think. No. I think... Ah, The thing is, I'm trying to remember if the Crisis 1 has anything I need a 1 power card for. I think we're going to get rid of the Quiver of Arrows. Yeah, goodbye Quiver of Arrows. There's more of them where that came from. All right, so one, two, couple vulnerabilities, and then whatever this is going to be worth, which is three. So three total. Uh, we might as well buy Aquaman. Aquaman. New. I wanted to buy a Breakthrough just so I'd have it, but because of Ra's al Ghul, I didn't want to get attacked. I didn't want extra cards coming out, I should say. House of Mystery. First time I play a card of cost five or greater during each of your turns, draw a card. We're going to play Punch. Then we're going to use Magic on that Punch, so that's two power. Three, four, five, we'll say a starter. Nope, it's a superpower. So with five, we're actually going to... Ooh, what should we do? We're going to Ankh... Per, or Ankh Anka Pearl Portal? Ankh Pearl Ankh Portal? I'm not going to pretend to understand. I just read it. I don't usually say it. All right, one, two, three, four. I got to shuffle up this discard pile. The reason I wanted that is because I'm going to get an additional hero, essentially. Need that. Okay, got to get rid of these villains. They're pretty expensive. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there was a new enemy. Target Voach discards a non weakness card. Uh, for each character on their team. Okay. I didn't have any hand cards, though. Well, I should have them now. So I have to discard a punch. Right? Yes. All right. Two, three, four, five. Name a non-starter card type or subtype. Then reveal the top card of your deck. It is named card. Okay, we're going to say it's an equipment. No, we're going to say it's a superpower. Nope. Oh, well. One, two, three, four, five still is enough to get. Could do Phantom Zone. Could do another magic. I think we're going to get rid of Killer Frost. I think that makes sense. New card comes out. Man, this is all very Crisis 1 heavy. Two, three, four, five. Haven't been able to introduce you to too many new characters. Okay, so Ankh Portal. If you have one or fewer characters on your team, rescue a character. We are going to rescue Batman. So now I have two heroes in play, and I have control of both of their abilities. Once during each of my turns, plus one power for each metal card you control. I haven't had a metal card come out yet to show you. And then Batman, each time I play a weakness, look at the top card of my deck, I may destroy it or leave it. So this is five, so with House of Ant Mystery, I get to draw a card. All right, we'll play this. Look at the top two cards of your deck, draw one. And then put the other back on top or destroy it. We will, guess, draw a vulnerability and destroy the other. Animal Man. We're going to say this is a superpower. Oh, it's an equipment. So we are at two power total. Three with a punch, four with a punch, five with a punch, and then this last vulnerability. So that five punches will get, we'll get flight and another breakthrough. That's my plan there. Okay. There we go. Shuffling it all up. Very well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Punch. We're going to use magic on that punch. So now we're at two power. Since we played a card of cost five or more, we get to draw a card. Um, I don't control one or fewer characters, so it's just three power. So it's one, two, five, six, seven, eight. And look at the top card. Ooh, nine, ten it is a villain. This is one of those metal cards. You can see it's very shiny. You can kind of see it. Ooh, you can see my camera. That's you. 
Anyway, I'm going to use the multiverse map ability to put that on the bottom of the deck. B -b -b bottom of the deck. Anyway, that was how much how much VP was that? I forgot. Just two. All right, well not just two, but two. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's enough to get rid of Avatar of the Rot. Still have three left over. We'll buy Phantom Zone Projector. Okay, we're getting there. If I can get rid of Starro soon, we'll be. Oh, there's a new villain. One, two, three, four, five. Each foe puts a location he controls into the discard pile. Goodbye, House of Mystery. All right, John Constantine, reveal the top two cards of your deck. Draw one and put them. Put the other on top of your deck or destroy it. We'll draw this punch, destroy this vulnerability. That is all three of my starter vulnerabilities gone. One, two, three, we'll say superpower. That's a hero, oh well. Four, five, six, seven. That's enough to say goodbye to Killer Frost and buy another breakthrough. All right, that's the end of the breakthroughs. I've got a few of them. I don't have any other weaknesses right now. That's another attack. One, two, three. That's too bad. That is really too bad. One, two, three, four, five. Each foe reveals his hand and discards cards until his hand contains no duplicate cards. Uh, well, we're just going to discard one of the punches then. Alright, one, two, reveal the top card. It's a one. We'll put that at the bottom of the deck. There's already two out there. No need to bring another into this. So that's one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll say superpower. It is. So I get plus three power. So that's one, two, forgot three, four, plus three is seven. So with that, I guess we'll go ahead and get rid of Starro. Still have Psycho Pirate out there now, but we're making progress. Making progress. I'm just going to double up those power of the red so they don't just fill this place up and we'll bring magic down here considering buying another magic here's my thought there is a crisis in this that is going to destroy my hand and leave me with just 10 cards i'd like john constantine to be one of those 10 cards two three four or five so i'm purposely not buying him so that later on in the game i can put him in that hand all right constantine reveal two cards on the top of my deck draw one of them put the other on top or destroy it um we will draw Onk portal and leave breakthrough on top. All right, we will play punch. Then we will magic said punch. So we are at two power now. Three, four, five, six, and then another three. It's going to put me at nine. Nine is enough to say goodbye, psycho pirate. With that four, we'll go ahead and buy another animal. You know what? We'll buy one power of the red. Just one. Don't get too crazy now. Just one. Please don't be a villain. Okay, it's not a villain which means we can attempt to be Arkham Breakout. Now, in solo play, Arkham Breakout has a slightly different uh, description for beating it, and it is, at the start of your turn, discard your hand, remove this crisis if each of those cards has a different name. We have, oh, there's two punches and two breakthroughs. So that's not going to happen this time. Animal Man will say this is a, say, a superpower. Nope, it's a location. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight... We'll buy Bow Staff. Heck yes, we will. You know what? We'll buy Magic also. We're really going to slim this deck down quickly. Hey, there we go. There's another metal card. You can see the holographic effects on it. They're pretty cool. The only problem I had with them is when I first opened it, my wife and I were playing a game yesterday. And I, I sleeve all my cards before I play with them. And she noticed that in one of her sleeves there were two copies because of the, I think, I'm guessing because of the metal printing on them, they had just stuck together a little bit. So check check for that when you open your copy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to put a hero under here at any time there isn't one. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I should check the rule book on that. There should always be one captured hero, I believe. Um, blah, 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 blah. Each time you buy, blah, 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 blah. Um, 
problem when a superhero becomes captured is placed blah 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 blah. Huh. Just checking, just checking. I don't see anything actually that says that. Um Okay, so we're gonna put that back. I think I was wrong about that. Maybe it's on this card though. Each time a supervillain with cost 13 or less rescue a captured character and gain two weaknesses. If any time there's no capture character, the top card of the character stack becomes captured. Okay, I was right about that. I was right about that. So we will put House of Mystery out here. Then we'll play Ankh Portal, which is three, and because it's five power, we can draw a card. So that's three. Four, five. We will discard these two punches and draw two more cards. Six, seven. Is there anything we want to use kick on, use magic on? No, there's not. So just seven power is enough to buy Prometheum. And we'll stop there. We want Prometheum because of Cyborg. Please don't be, oh, it's a villain. I was really hoping to avoid villains. Two, three, four, five. Okay, well, he's pretty cheap, right? He's just three. Reveal a top card. What's it cost? Ooh, we're going to put that at the bottom of the deck. But we get two victory points for it. No, not two victory points, two power for it. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I play anything with? No, I did not. So with that seven, we'll get rid of. Oh, uh, Strigaday? Strigaday. Why not? And I still have four left, but I'm not going to buy anything with that. New card comes out. Please don't be a villain. Perfect. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Signature trench coat. We're going to get one of those. And do we have this? Yes. We have no villains out here. We have five cards, all with different names. That is the end of the Arkham Breakout Crisis. Okay. New card coming out. X-Ray Vision. X-Ray Vision was a lot better than the previous incarnation of X-Ray Vision. I think the previous version is either in the base game or possibly in Crisis 1. We'll find out today if it comes out. But X-Ray Vision can kind of... Well, it's no good during solo play, I should say. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Can we do it? Can we finish... Raz al Ghul. I think we can. All right, two, and we're going to say it's a superpower. It's a punch. Okay. Three, uh, we already know it's a punch, so that's can't use that. Uh, right, because there's no subtype to punch. Yeah. So two, three, four, five, six, seven... I could magic a card. I think we will. We'll magic breakthrough to get to 8 9 and buy Raz al Ghul. Now, as it says, oh, because of that, we get the draw card because of House of Mystery. Again, another one power, which we're going to do well, nothing with. What do we destroy? We destroyed breakthrough. That's right. Which would actually go to the destroyed pile now that I think of it. Okay. So, when you. Each time you gain a supervillain of cost 13 or less, rescue a captured character and gain two weakness cards. So two weakness cards are going in my discard pile. And then our capture character we are gaining is Kendra Saunders. We are getting crazy heavy on characters here. We'll add one more to the Batman who laughs, so he's always got a captured one. Once during each of your turns, if you control two or more villains and or heroes, plus two power. So I get plus two power for hero when i have two or more heroes and villains i get to when i play a weakness get a bonus and when i play metal cards i get a bonus so those are things i have to look out for let's figure out what our new crisis is untouchable villain at the start of your turn put the top card of the main deck into the lineup if it's not a villain discard a card each player must destroy eight costs worth of cards in his hand um i don't know if that's different in solo so untouchable villain so, nope, I am wrong. It is the same in solo. So, eight cost 
worth of cards in my hand. And then the new villain, which we have a defense for, is Dark Side. He costs three more for each superpower, and each player puts all superpowers from his hand in the lineup. We're going to defend against that. I'm just trying to figure out which one. If you do put any number of cards that cost zero from your discard pile into your hand, um, uh, if you do, you may put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. I think we're going to do Speed Force discard to avoid attack. If you do, put any number of cards of cost zero from your discard pile into your hand. Cards of cost zero. So that's punches and weaknesses because I already destroyed my vulnerabilities. I'm purposely grabbing one weakness, and you'll see why in a second. Okay, so Untouchable Villain, we have to do that first. At the start of your turn, put the top card of the main deck into the lineup. We did. It is a villain, so that's the end of that. Beginning of our turn, we have to play a weakness because we have it. But Batman says each time you play a weakness, look at the top card of your deck, destroy it or leave it. You can believe that. All right, one, two, uh, three, four, five, and then what do we want to do? Yeah, we'll play Power of the Red to discard Punch and draw a new card. And it is 6-7, but since it's a metal card, that is now 8 power because of Cyborg. And did I reach this? I did not. So that's 8 power total. With that 8 power, we're going to get Signature Trench Coat. No, yes, yes, Signature Trench Coat and say goodbye to Strife. That's what we're going to do. Goodbye to Strife. Fair play. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. New carrot card comes out. There's no villains, so... If it's not a villain, discard a card. So I have to discard a card. We will discard this punch. Now, to beat untouchable villains, since there are no villains out here, I must destroy eight costs worth of cards from hand. Uh, we will destroy... Well, we have to destroy two of these fives. We'll destroy... Let me double check. I know I bought things for trench coat. I'm just making sure its ability is gain a card to cost five or less. Since it's gain a card of cost five or less, we'll just do that with these two, destroying them. That's ten power worth of cards, so that's goodbye to Untouchable Villain. So far, so good. The game is going at the relatively normal pace that a um, Crisis 1 game goes, so I'm not upset about that at all. All right, we're going to play John Constantine, reveal two cards. Draw one and put the other on top of your deck or destroy it. We will draw a breakthrough and we're going to destroy this punch. Now, since that card costs five, we have to draw a card because of House of Mystery. And I'm actually hoping that it's a weakness. And I'll explain why in a second. Now, it's, there's a chance. There's two weaknesses in this whole deck, so there's a chance the top one's a weakness. Uh, we'll just see the shuffle's on our side. And it's not. Oh, well. I want it to be a weakness because I have a breakthrough, so I could have destroyed it. But that's not happening this time. We're going to get two power, four power, and then look at the top card. That's another two, so that's six power total. I'm going to put that at the bottom of the deck for sure. For certain, trust me. Six power. Now we want to get rid of some superpowers because of dark side here. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and buy Fair Play. And then our, since we've got, what is it? We got how much? Six, right? Yeah, that's three. We can get three more. We're going to buy Flight. I don't really want Flight. I wanted to get another Breakthrough. But, you know, you do what you got to do. We're just going to double up these Animal Men just so they don't take up as much space. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. Punch, and then we're going to magic that punch. That is two power. Get to draw a card since magic costs five. Ooh, play that weakness, but with Batman. We can look at the top card of our deck, leave it, or destroy it. We will leave that. So one power, two, three, because of Cyborg, that's four. Five, we're going to say, hey, this is an equipment, because it is. Six, seven, eight. Nine power total. That's a good hand. Nine power. We're going to buy Dionysium. 
and we're going to buy X-Ray Vision. New card coming out. War Cry. One, two, three, four, five. Still haven't gotten either. I haven't gotten Kendra Saunders to work yet. Yet. Um, we will play Signature Trench Coat. You may gain a card of cost five or less from the destroy pile. If you do, if you choose not to, plus two power. We're gonna gain probably Ankh Portal. No, we'll gain Magic back because I would like to destroy some weaknesses. No, Ankh Portal. That's three power. That's hard to say no to. So, that's four power. So it doesn't do anything else. Two, three, four, five, and we're not going to do anything with this. So with that five power, we will buy Warcry. Warcry. There's a lot of superpowers I'm buying tonight. A lot of them. Mostly superpowers, it feels like. Well, we know at least one of these three cards is the other weakness, since it didn't come up in the last hands. So it's in there. It's coming up. Hopefully we don't get the second one in the same turn. If we do, I know exactly which character we're losing. Kendra Saunders. Nothing against her, just haven't used her. Two, three, four, five. All right, so we play our one weakness. Uh, multiverse, what's this? It's a hero, he's cost, he gets two power. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and superpower. It is seven, eight. You and a target foe, choose a draw card, okay. 9, 10, that's a metal card, so that's 11 power. Is 11 enough to be dark side? Now we cost three more for each superpower out there. All right, I have no interest in power of the red, but it's time for it to go. And we'll buy Captain Adam at the same time. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and another Captain Adam's available. All right, John Constantine. Reveal the top two cards of my deck. We can. We will draw Signature Trench Coat. Then, you know what? No. We're going to draw Magic and leave Signature Trench Coat. Then we're going to play Aquaman and say, hey, this is an equipment. Hey, look, it is. So that's one, four power. Five, we're going to Magic that punch. So six. Seven, eight. How are we doing here? We played two heroes. So that's nine, ten from Kendra Saunders here. And then play a top card of the main deck and then return it. Hey, if it's an ongoing card, you may keep it instead. Very well. It is an ongoing card. Once during each of your turns, if there are two more characters on your team, plus two power, that's twelve power total. That is enough to buy Dark Side. All right, buying Dark Side. There he goes. That's two more weaknesses for us. We didn't destroy our last ones at all. And we do get to rescue a hero, which is the Flash. I'm going to start doubling up on these. And that is, once during each of your turns, you may play a defense. When you play a defense, draw a card. That's going to be helpful. Ooh, thirsty tonight. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one weakness, but also a breakthrough, so that's good news. Oh, there's no cards under the Batman Who Laughs, so that is a new one. Hey, if you're just joining us, we are playing Dark Knight Metal with Crisis One and Solo. We've had reports of it's pretty difficult, and so far it's pretty normal, but these weakness cards are starting to stack up in my deck, and I can see that being a problem very soon. We have a new Crisis card, and that is... Legion of Doom. Put the top three cards of the main deck into the lineup. Okay. One, two, three. Hero cards lose all text and have plus one power instead. Each player must destroy a hero in hand. That's not too bad. It's very doable. Do we have a defense card for whatever is about to happen? I do not. So this could be bad. We'll see. Um... Sinestro costs three more for each hero in the lineup. That's a lot of heroes out there right now. Uh, each player puts all heroes from his hand into the lineup. I don't have any in my hand, so that is okay with me. On Dark Knight's Metal, you always play the weakness first. Because I have the Batman character, I can look at the top card of the deck, destroy it, or leave it. We will leave that card. 
Then we'll play Promethean. Oh, no, sorry. Then we're going to play Breakthroughs. So that's two power and destroy this weakness. Boom. Three, four from Prometheum plus Cyborg is five. Six, seven. If I control a weakness, I may draw a card. Oh, I should have done that earlier. That'll teach me. And I can gain a destroyed card from the destroyed pile. Of cost five or less. We will just gain anything worth gaining here. Probably Killer Frost. I think that's exactly what we'll do. We're going to get Killer Frost here. So I forgot how much power we had, though. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that was it. I think it was seven total. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, and this is going to bring us to eight, nine. So with that nine, we're going to buy Hal Jordan at four. We're going to buy Animal Man? No. Still have five left. We'll use the other five to get rid of Psycho Pirate. Get rid of those villains if we're ever going to get out of here. New card comes out. Hey, another Hal Jordan right next to each other. One, two, three, four, five. Man, not a single hero here. Yikes. All right, we are going to use... Do we want to use that? Because these are pretty good. Once during each of your turns, draw... When you play a defense, draw a card. So we are going to use Power of the Red. And we're going to discard Flight, but keep the rest. Now we get to draw a card. We discarded one card, so we get to draw one card. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. There are a few weaknesses in here. I'm hoping they're not what comes up. So, one card. There it is. Hey, it's flight again. We just got it back. Okay. This is going to be worth three power with Baby Dark Side out there. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because of the flash, I get to draw a card. Ooh, nine. And I can destroy a card and replay it. I think we'll destroy Flight. We get another one power, bringing us to 10. And then with Forge of Worlds, that'll bring us to 12 power total. And, oh, I did play Magic, so I get to draw a card. 13 power total. 13 power, huh? Well, we have to get... Yeah, we have to get the expensive Captain Adam out of here. And we'll get 16, I'm sorry, 6 and 4 is 10. And then we'll get rid of Baby Darkseid with the last 3 power we've got there. New card comes out. That's a pretty good hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's see if we're about to lose. Do we have any weaknesses here? Not a single one. That is crazy. All right, there's also no villains, though. So, Legion of Doom. Um, oh, hero card lose all tech. Did I use any heroes incorrectly? I don't think I've actually played any heroes. I really don't think I have. Uh, each player must destroy a hero. We are going to destroy Captain Adam to get rid of Legion of Doom. So the crisis is gone. So that's our start. And then we'll play Multiverse Map, which is going to get us this for one power. We'll leave it right there on top. Well, will we? Yeah, that's actually really powerful in this game. Yes, I'm going for all the superheroes I can. I'm at four right now. After I beat Sinestro, I should be at five. I haven't ended up with two weaknesses once yet. So, so far, cross my fingers, that hasn't been a problem. I've kind of stocked up on a few breakthroughs in case that happens. Plus, I've got magic and John Constantine and other things that I'm using to just outright destroy them. I just peeked the top card of my deck. Uh, because of multiverse map now I next turn the rots coming out which is going to be great because the first time you play a weakness or vulnerability during your turn draw a card so every time we'll, so that's going to help a lot I hope I hope all right so we're at one power there two three we're at four power with cyborg five six I can draw a card because of the flash uh, seven, eight, we're going to say this is a superpower. Nope, no luck. I could be at nine, ten, but that's not enough to get Sinestro. Maybe we'll just stick with eight. Oh, wait, no, we do have this too. Did I play any five cost cards? I did not. I'm just going to retotal this real quick because I actually kind of lost track. So that's one, 
two, three, four, because a cyborg. If you play or have played a superpower this turn, or another metal card, I may destroy a card in my hand or discard a pile. Um, I don't have any superpowers. So that's not going to happen. Anyway, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could be at ten. Or I could get a card from the destroyed pile. Hmm. I like magic. I like magic a lot. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gain magic back. So that is 10. Um, 10 because of Forge of Worlds. I guess we might as well get these heroes out of there. I'm still going to try and leave John Constantine because if Collapsing Parallel Worlds comes up, I want John Constantine on the other side of that situation. So we will buy with that 10 Hal Jordan and Animal Man. Getting heroes out of there, making Sinestro, you know, affordable. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, did I miss a defense card? That's entirely possible. That is one of my problems with this game, and they even note it in the rule book. That it's really hard sometimes to keep track of all of the different superpowers, superpower powers the uh, heroes are giving you. At least that's my experience so far. We're going to put this weakness out. But because we have Batman, we can look at this card. We will not be destroying Prometheum. But we will do John Constantine's ability to look at these cards. We'll draw Prometheum and leave Aquaman on top. No. We'll draw Aquaman and leave Prometheum on top. Because we're going to go with one, and we're going to say, hey, this is an equipment. There it is. So that's one. Plus three is four power so far. Anything else there I'm missing? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I control two heroes. So that's six. Seven, eight with Forge of Worlds. Oh, and I get the draw card because of John Constantine, but that was earlier. Uh, iffy gray zone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight we're at. Nine, ten, I get the draw card. Eleven, twelve with Cyborg, that is now thirteen. Oh, play a top card of the main deck. 14, 15, if I control a weakness, draw a card. I do. Oh, no! I was risking it the whole time. There was always a chance it would happen. That's two weaknesses. But since I played it, I get to look at the top card. I may destroy it or leave it. We'll destroy this weakness. Don't get to finish my turn, no matter how much power I was generating. So, we have to put one weakness back on the stack. One goes into a scoring pile. Not that a scoring pile is really relevant in crisis mode, but that's where it's going. And we have to lose one of these heroes. I think the obvious choice is Kendra Saunders, just for me. She's the one I'm having the hardest time keeping track of. Uh, the other ones, not so much. They're a little bit easier for me to track for some reason. I think it's just the abilities. Lots of locations out here. Okay, well, at least we're down a weakness. I'm going to look on the bright side here and just say, hey, we're down a weakness. All right. See how things go. Another thing I was considering is uh, besides the main deck being... What, what am I doing? I just have to go over here. Then we draw five. One, two, three, four, five. One of the things I'm considering is including the Dark Knight's metal villains in the main stack as opposed to the impossible mode crisis villains because the game is balanced so that you get those rewards when you beat them. So it makes sense that you would still need them in some aspect, in some way, during the crisis mode. So I'm considering that for future tries. But from one for the first four attempts here, I'm going to do just flat out each crisis with this base set. So far, it's going okay. It's going about as smoothly as a normal Crisis 1 game goes. And, well, maybe it's a little lower than usual. Either way, I'm still having fun. That's all that matters to me. Okay. Any of these things we want to use? Do we want to use Power of the Red? I always want to debate that one. All right, Power of the Red we will use to get rid of Flight. And anything else? I don't think Fair Play is going to do anything unless we do draw a weakness here. Um, that's it. We'll just get rid of flight. So we'll draw one card. All right, two, three, and we'll say this is a superpower. It's a hero. Four, five, six. 
I get to draw a card. We've talked about that plenty of times. Uh, so two, four. Good luck. Good luck indeed. A crisis two I'm kind of worried about because I've kind of been thinking what happens with what happens with heroic sacrifice and Dark Knight's Metal. I don't know. Do we just get rid of one of your heroes and draw and um, draw a new one? Do you get rid of all of your heroes and draw, in my instance here, three new heroes? Do you get rid of all your heroes and only draw one new hero? There's lots of different ways it could go. So I'll have to look at the card closely. But obviously it wasn't created with Dark Knight's Metal in mind. So we kind of have to come up with a solution of that one on our own. Two, four, five... Six, and we're going to say uh, Superpower as an equipment. We're not going to magic any of these cards, I don't think. You know what? Yeah, we'll magic Killer Frost. So that's seven, and draw a card. Look at the top card. Eight, and we're going to put that at the bottom of the deck. Eight will get me... I want to get the rock because I want to see how that works out with weaknesses. It might actually screw me with weaknesses. I might end up with a situation where um, I draw another weakness just because of the rock. But I'm going to try it. And we'll get a breakthrough because I've got quite a few of these weaknesses floating around, it seems. Now, what do we got here? Kill them all, but the way I'll be playing, I'll only ever have a maximum of two superheroes. Okay. That's your plan. Go for it. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to play. This is literally only the second game I've played of Dark Knight's Metal so far. First time I played it in crisis mode. So I don't know what to expect. I don't really have a strategy yet. I guess the closest thing I've got to a strategy is throw as many heroes at it as possible. And we'll see what happens. Alright. No villains out there still. We do have this out here making him three more. X-Ray Vision, play a top card of the main deck, then return it. All right, one power, we'll take it. Two, three, four, and we'll say superpower. It's a hero. Five, six, we did, so we can destroy a card in my hand or discard pile. Got to have something in here worth destroying. You know what? I hate power of the red. Always buy it just because I have to at some point for some random crisis, but that's true. I could use the raw ability before Batman influencing, well, doubling the chances of Batman being useful. So that's good. That's a good point. So where was I? I was at one, two, three, four, five. I destroyed a card. Six, seven. I keep forgetting F Forge of Worlds. That's eight, nine. Did I play a defense card or anything? Nope. Oh, I did play a metal card, so that's 10. And anything I can do to get another power. Because I have John Constantine out here. I need one more power. I don't think I missed anything. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, and Flight brings me well to 11. Still not enough to get rid of Sinestro. Oh, well. With that 11, we will buy a Dark Knight, the Dark Multiverse, and Tomb of Hath Set. I don't think I've had either of those locations yet, so we'll see what they do when they come up. One, two, three, four, five. New card coming out. We already know it's Flight. Uh, gain a card of cost four less from the lineup. If I control weakness, gain any card from the lineup instead. I guess we'll gain fair play. So that's three. Four, five. I can draw a card. Yes, we will John Constantine. One, two. We can destroy one, but we won't. Instead, we'll put it back and we'll use the House of Mystery because of John Constantine to draw another card. We are at now a total of two power. Three, four. Get to gain another card. I don't really want to, though, so I'm not even going to play it. Um, another gain a card. I have a lot of these gain of cards all of a sudden. Hmm. 
I'm just take the two power for six. Hmm. So at two, four, six, eight with Forge of Worlds. Ten with Signature Trench Coat. And I'm still one short, aren't I? I still have John Constantine. I don't want to buy Con John Constantine. My strategy is to leave him there until I get to Collapsing Parallel Worlds, but it seems like that's not an option. We're going to buy him, and we're probably going to destroy him later, just so we can buy him again with Signature Trench Coat when Collapsing Parallel Worlds comes up. So that's the plan we're going to use there. One, two, three, four, five. Detective Chimp. Of course, he got replaced with another hero. Ugh, I'm not proud of any of these cards. Okay, let's try it. And what we're going to try is, we'll play Animal Man. And we'll say a card type is, there's lots of heroes it seems in my deck, so we're going to go with heroes. Heroes it is. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffling up. Okay. Hero? It is a hero. It's an animal man. That's that's the best thing that could possibly happen there. Alright, two, four, we'll say another hero? It... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play those odds. <laughs> we'll go another hero? Okay. Two, four, six. I can gain a card of cost four or less... Reveal top three cards of your deck, stopping when empty, and discard any number of them. Yeah, we will just gain Detective Chimp, I think. All right, that's two, four, six. Fantastic. Seven, eight, because of Forge of Worlds, and because of House of Mystery and Captain Adam, we will draw a card. So two, four, six, seven, eight. Reveal a top card. Nine, ten, we'll leave that right on top. Um... 11, 12, because it's defense, we can draw a card. 13, 14. 15, 16 with Cyborg, that is 17. And you know what? I think we're going to use magic on one of those animal mans. Animal men? No, I guess we'll keep it. Yeah, that's it. That'll be the end of that. I guess we will play Power of the Red. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. We're going to discard zero cards and then draw zero cards. And then we're going to use magic on said power of the red. That is way more than enough to buy Sinestro. I forgot what the final total was. It was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's enough to buy Sinestro. And also a breakthrough. We're going to need that because we're about to gain two weaknesses. But also a new hero. What are my choices of hero? Kendra Saunders. Ooh, Superman. It's Superman. No doubt in my mind, it is Superman. Yeah. That's what we want. That's what we want. Superman. Superman. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have a defense? I don't. I have both locations I bought earlier, though, so that's interesting. Superman's out here. It is. Identity Crisis. Each player flips his superhero face down. Players cannot avoid the supervillain's first appearance attack. Yeah, soup is good. Unfortunately, I'm about to lose him, though, because of Identity Crisis. Each player must discard plus six power worth of cards from his hand, then flip the superhero face up. I imagine we're going to go over the rule that it applies to just all superheroes, because that just makes the most sense. All right, all superheroes, you are face down we will come back to you later there's that uh, and then we have our first appearance attack here and it is hades i can't even avoid it anyway so it doesn't matter if i don't have a defense card each player puts the top two cards of the main deck into the lineup gain weaknesses equal to the cost of one of those cards that is dangerous one Two, six, or five? Do I want six weaknesses, or do I want five? I mean, I guess I want five, but is that ideal? Is it? It's not. Spoiler alert. 
is not ideal. I have all these heroes I've lost because of Identity Crisis, and now I'm probably going to lose them again just because of weakness cards. All right. Which location? So I guess, do I still... I have two characters, so I still get the Forge of Worlds ability. Um, yeah, I still have them. I just don't have their abilities. Is that right? I don't know. These games weren't designed with each other in mind. With every card in mind, I should say. Hmm. I mean, I still have heroes. Once they're in each of your turns, if there are two more characters on your team, plus two power. Well, maybe they're not on my team. I, You know what? They're not on my team. We're just going to say they're not. We're going to put the Rod out. And we're going to put Dark Multiverse out. At the start of each of your turns, you may put a card of cost zero from your discard pile into your hand. I wish I already had that out, because at the start of my turn, I would have grabbed one of those six weaknesses, sorry, five weaknesses, and used Breakthrough on it. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, too. Uh, we will use Warcry 2 and choose and draw a card. We will play Aquaman, so that'll be three, and we're going to say it's a superpower. It is not. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. With that seven, we will get rid of Onamar Sin. Or Dinamar Sin? Is that an O or a D? I think it's an O. Onamar Sin. It's not a character I'm familiar with. And I read all of Dark Knight's Metal. I mean, it looks like Dark Side. Maybe it is Dark Side. I can never remember what Dark Side's, uh, not human name, but local name, native name. I know he has a name. Uh-huh. Okay. New card coming out. It's a villain, so can't buy my identity crisis back yet. Two, three, four, five. At the beginning of our turn, we could gain a weakness back, but I don't have anything to destroy it. So what we're going to do instead is gain a punch, I think. Do I have any punches left out here? No, no punches out here. All right, if you have one or fewer characters on your team, rescue a character. Now, that gets weird. I have no characters right now, or I have four. It's kind of up in the air. Ugh, we'll just go John Constantine first. Reveal the top two cards of your deck, draw one of them, put the other on top of your deck, or destroy it. We will draw X-Ray Vision. We'll put Flight back. Because of John Constantine... Actually, no, we're going to destroy Flight. I don't really like that card. Ooh, nope, 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 put, nope, destroying flight. Then we're going to use House of Mystery to draw another card, because Constantine costs five. So two, play the top card of the main deck. Three, four, if I control four card types, an additional plus two. I only control one, two, three card types. So that's not going to happen. So that's two, three, four. Um, if you don't rescue a character this way, get three. So yeah, we'll go with three for seven. What am I doing? No, go back, go back. One, two, three, four, which we'll use to buy baby dark side. So we have one power left. Discard six power. So this is worth three, four, five. Oh, I only have five power in my hand, so I can't do that either. Anyway, we have one, four, five, six. John Constantine... What do you got for me? Yeah, we'll draw magic and destroy this punch. Anything we want to magic in here? Not really. We're just going to leave those as is. They take our six power and buy either Superman or power channeling. Let's see. Reveal two cards of the main deck, plus power equal to the combined VP, then return those in any order. That's pretty useful. Plus four power, you may just discard each weakness you control. Yes, please, because I have plenty of weaknesses now. Plenty. One, two, three, four. That's only four. Time to shuffle this up and let the, what? I think it's six or seven total weaknesses loose on me. We're probably going to lose heroes here without even getting them back, like I predicted. I'm going to try and shuffle it up real good. I don't want 
two. I want one every turn. That's the ideal. I should have bought some more breakthroughs this couple, these last couple turns, but nope. Foolish me. One, two, three, four, five. This deck is huge. Have to destroy things. What do we got? We have zero weaknesses. Okay. At the start of each of your turns, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. Oh, discard your hand and draw four cards. That's not so bad. That's going to save me if I happen to draw some weaknesses. And I think that's exactly what that is designed to do. So many locations, I'm going to lose track of all of them. Two, four, six. We're going to discard this six power worth of cards in order to get rid of Identity Crisis. Therefore, getting all of my characters back, right? Then flip their superheroes face up. Okay. We are need this because we really need Bat Superman if we're going to get through this heavy, heavy couple of turns with these weakness cards. <sighs> okay. So I get my two power back. And I can gain a card of cost four or less from the lineup. I guess we'll just gain Plastic Man. New card comes out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. What do we have? That's a bunch of weaknesses. Um, what can I do? I know there's a bunch of at the start of your turn stuff, so I should see what my options are. I can. You may put a card of cost zero from your district pile into your hand. Um, at the start of your turn, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. I think that's what we're going to do. Because these three weaknesses are going to max out Superman. So we're going to discard our hand and draw four new cards. We're going to see how that works. One, two, three, four. Please don't be 50% weaknesses. That's all I need here. Okay, I can deal with one. Play one weakness. And since we have the rot, the first time I play a weakness, I get to draw a card. Then we'll play Multiverse. Reveal a top card of your deck. Plus power equal to the victory points. Oh, stars equal three. So that's three power. Three plus four is seven, and I may discard each weakness I control. We will, just in case. Oh wait, I could have I could have looked Batman. Batman, look at this card, I may destroy it. I will not. Four, five, six, seven. Where am I? There is so much to keep track of right now. Too many locations. I have one, two, three, four, five locations and four heroes. I'm losing track of everything that's available to me. And I think that's gonna be a big problem going forward. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then because of Forge of Worlds, that is 13, which is more than enough to beat Hades. And that's what we want to do. I don't really want to get another two weaknesses, but I just did. And we're going to get a new hero, which is Kendra Saunders. And we have to put a new hero underneath the Batman who laughs. All right, so I'm just looking at the clock now. <clears throat> we are a little over an hour in, and we've beaten one, two, three, four supervillains. It shows because we have a ton of weaknesses in our deck. One, two, three, four, five for my new hand. New card has to come out. We have a breakthrough, which is good because we can, you know, use our um, dark multiverse to get a weakness and then break through it, so that's good. Okay. Do I have a defense card? I have one defense card, which is going to help with whatever's about to happen. Alternate reality. At the start of your turn, destroy all heroes in your hand. Yikes. Gain that many random villains from the destroy pile and put them into your hand. Your team must destroy 12 cost worth of heroes in their discard pile. Ooh, we might be able to do that soon. Brainiac. First appearance attack. Each player, you know, we're not even going to read it. Or maybe we should. Each player discards a random number of cards. A random card then destroys the top. Nope, we're going to defend. Discard this card. Discard to avoid an attack. If you do, you may destroy a card in your discard pile. Yes, we are going to discard Phantom Zone Projector to destroy a weakness. Now it's the start of my turn. 
And for the start of my turn, I'm going to do the Dark Multiverse to get a weakness from the discard pile into my hand. Okay, does that make sense? It makes sense to me. Any other at the start of my turn actions I can do? No. So then we have alternate realities at the start of your turn, which is destroy all heroes in your hand. Gain that many random villains from the destroyed pile and put them into your hand. So that is two heroes getting destroyed. And we're going to shuffle up our destroyed pile here and we're going to draw until we have two villains. Hopefully we get that um, five cost metal villain. That's all I really want. Because with with, uh, with um, Cyborg, nope, with Cyborg, that'll be, I think, four power. And that'll be a very good card. So we have this one now. And, hey, we got him. Anamar Sin. Better know his name now. Okay. We're going to play a weakness. Now, because of now because of Batman, or do we want to do the rot? No, will you do Batman? No. I think it's better to do Batman first. Because if we do Batman first, we definitely won't get stuck of a weakness. Uh, we're going to try doing the rot first. So draw a card. It's another weakness. And now we can look at the top card. And we may destroy it. We won't. I really, really should have done Batman first. Okay. Well, we are going to play Breakthrough on this weakness. So that's gone, and we have two power. Then we're going to play another weakness, and we're going to do Batman again. And we're not going to destroy John Constantine. I should have thought about that a little further out. But we have three, four. Since I control a weakness, I can draw a card. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Draw one and destroy the other. So we are at four. Right, because one, two, three, four of that breakthrough I played. Five, six of Forge of Worlds. And I believe we should be able to beat Alternate Reality. It's 12 cost worth of heroes. So that's six. Ooh, there's another six, but I don't want to do that. Six, four. I haven't had much luck with Hal Jordan. So, 6, 4, that's 14. That's more than enough to qualify for a goodbye alternate reality. And we were at, again, 2, 4, 6 power. 6 and 3 is 9, plus our metal brings us to 10. 11, 12, the next time you gain one or more weakness cards this turn, Put one of them into a foe's discard pile. How is that going to work in crisis mode? Ah, it's a villain, so you're supposed to, supposed to rarely have it anyway. All right. We'll figure it out. So 12, and I can gain a card of cost 4 or less from the lineup. Is there anything out there that meets that criteria? Yes, we can gain Car Carter Hall's journal. Um, and with Kendra Saunders, we are out now actually at 14 power. Anything else I'm missing? Probably. I can't keep track of all of them. Each time I play a weakness, plus one power. I played two weaknesses. So that is 16 power. 16 is enough to say goodbye, Brainiac, getting us two more weaknesses. But... Also another hero. And it's Mr. Terrific, the one I really wanted. And um, I still have four power. We're going to certainly be buying a breakthrough of that. We need it. We really do. That's a lot of weaknesses to have just floating around, especially when they're so powerful right now. Okay. This is getting ugly. This is dangerous the amount of stuff I have floating around right now one two three four five well that's good breakthrough is very good okay new crisis kryptonite meteor put the top three cards of the main deck into the lineup one two please no villain please no villain no villain cool superpowers lose all text and have plus one power instead to beat you must destroy a superpower from hand Okay, not a problem. Then, our new villain is Deathstroke. Each player destroys a hero, 
superpower and equipment in hand. Hero, superpower, yeah, and I don't have an equipment, so that's not going to happen. Okay, we are at the start of our turn. We are going to use Dark Multiverse to get a weakness. We will play said weakness which means we can draw a card and also look at the top card and destroy it. You know, we'll, we're going to do Batman first. Look at the top card, may destroy it. We will not, and then we will use the Rot to draw a card. Okay, so there's that. Any other weakness-related things? One power from Superman. That's the other weakness thing. So that's one power from Superman, two from Forge of Worlds. That's three power total. Then we'll play Fair Play. So four, five, I can draw a card for controlling a weakness. 6-7, destroying that weakness and getting rid of Breakthrough. Nope, can't do that. Hold on. Speed Force has to go back. Uh, this is just one power because of Kryptonite Meteor. In fact, let's go back a few turns. We'll say we'll go back to here. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And I think X-Ray Vision was still... No, we would, we'll go back to where we drew X-Ray Vision. So I have no villains out there. I have to just destroy a superpower. And we'll destroy fair play. I think. Uh, yeah, fair play is the one we're going to get rid of. Instead, we'll do two power for breakthrough. So I have two power there. Three, four, uh, Superman. Four, five, of Forge of Worlds. So we're at five power. Play the top card of the main deck, and Kryptonite Meteor is gone. Uh, six, seven, eight. Eight power. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven power. I could just be Deathstroke right now. We're doing it. We're going to beat Deathstroke right now. It probably is going to be one of the many nails in my coffin. But we're on a roll. And we're just going to keep rolling with it. So that's two more weaknesses. Oh, there was none there, so it would be this hero. We have to put this one out. Dr. Fate. Once during each of your turns, if you control two or more heroes and or equipment, put three top, put up to three cards of cost zero from your discard pile into your hand. Too bad I got rid of all those punches already. But with the right cards in my hand, it might be beneficial to drag some weaknesses out. This is getting complicated. Well, that's what we're doing. We are just trying to figure out how this works between Dark Knight's Metal and Crisis 1. All right. We have to get five new cards. I have way too many heroes. One, two, three, four, five. There is only one weakness, so honestly, could be a lot worse. We have any defense cards? We have one defense card. Three and four? How'd you do that? Currently fighting supervillains three and four simultaneously. I'm very curious how you managed to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get my setup ready while... You get on that. At the start of your turn, destroy... Oh, Corrupted Companion. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah, Corrupted Companion is going to hurt you pretty bad because that's basically two guaranteed weaknesses right there that you have to gain, besides just the normal stack, obviously. I wonder if we could translate it to, like, only main stack, even only supervillain stack villains gain that. I don't know. I'll think about it. We'll come up with something. At the start of your turn, destroy a hero in your li in the lineup. If there are none to destroy, add the top card of the main deck to the lineup. Each player must destroy a defense card in hand. Ooh, does it have to be in hand for single player? It does. I have one defense card in hand. I think I'm going to not defend myself here in order, in order to have speed force in my hand for a death in the family. Captain Cold, 
Each player flips his superhero face down. Okay. Goodbye to all these superheroes. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven superheroes gone. <laughs> Um, when this villain is defeated, each player may discard a random card. If you do, flip your superheroes face up. Okay. Well, if that's the case, at the start of your turn, destroy a hero in the lineup. There are none, so I have to add one to the lineup. Very well. And then each player must destroy a defense card. So we're going to play this weakness. Or no, we're not. I don't have to yet. I, can def I don't have to... I can, I can, the way I'm playing, the uh, last way functions, entering the superhero, I can then be rescued by Wonder Woman or Ankh Portal. Gotcha. That makes sense. Let's see how it goes. Mm, okay, we're going to contribute Speed Force to defeat a death in the family. Right off the bat, that's gone. Okay, in the start of our turn, we're going to play Weakness. So, with a weakness, I don't have Batman available to me. But, I do have the Rot, which is going to allow me to draw a card. And actually, did I have any of those left? Nope, looks like we are out of punches. We are fresh out of punches. Yeah, I can see that. And honestly, that might be beneficial to have not have a gigantic pile of superheroes. I am constantly losing track of them, just in Crisis 1. I can't imagine, come like Crisis 3, how important they would be. Losing track of them would not feel great. Alright, so because I played that weakness, I get to draw a card. Please don't be a weakness. Alright, four, and I may discard each weakness I control. Okay. So that's four power. Five, six, and draw a card. Seven, eight, nine, ten, reveal two cards. Draw one, destroy the other. I wish I didn't, uh, I don't have to destroy that. I can leave it on top of the deck. I wish I had uh, not gotten rid of the weakness now. So anyway, we were at, I forgot how much power. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus three is thirteen. Once again, I can afford to be Captain Cold. I am having no problem generating power, but I am having a lot of problems destroying these weaknesses. So what we're going to do with that is we are going to say goodbye to Captain Cold, and with the other three power we have, we're going to buy Breakthrough, because we need it. Then we'll draw our new hand and discard a random card to get our heroes back, so we aren't even going to look at them. We're just going to say this one here. We're discarding a weakness. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all, considering I already had one in the hand, too. Yikes. Dangerous times. Okay, we have so much going on. And we're going to gain another hero. And that hero is Wonder Woman. I don't even know what she does. I haven't played as her yet. Play has Lex Luthor, who's ever. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's a good point. And those heroes are quite a bit stronger than some of these ones. Except for Superman here. Superman here is pretty great. Anyway, I don't have a defense card for whatever's about to happen, so let's figure it out. Atlantis attacks. At the start of your turn, resolve all villain attacks in the lineup against you. If there are no attacks, add the top card of the main deck to the lineup. Each player must discard three non-starter cards, each of different card types. Yikes. Okay. Did I put a new card out? I don't think I did. There we go. Oh, it's Carter Hall. Kane's a weakness and puts it into his hand. Great. The Joker. Each player puts a random card from his hand into the discard pile of the player on his left. Actually, this one's different in solo play. The Joker. Add the top card of the main deck to the lineup. Okay. Oh, that's his ongoing ability. Sorry, his first appearance attack. Each player puts a random card from his hand into the discard pile of the player on his left. If that card has caused zero, repeat the process. Uh, I guess we'll discard Animal Man. 
Because I am the player on my left. Okay. It's the beginning of my turn. Atlantis attacks is going to happen. At the start of your turn, restore all, resolve all villain attacks in the lineup against you. So we'll have to gain this weakness due to Carter Hall out there. Yikes. That's two weaknesses going out. Then, that's two because of Superman. And what happens? It requires three weakness cards for your character to become captured. Third weakness is also returned to the stack. Each time you play weakness, plus one power. So do these two, does this effect still take place? Does the, if there's two weakness cards effect still take place, or is that changed to three because of Superman? I might have to look that one up. Let's see what the internet has to say about that one. Bum -ba -dum -ba. Ooh, computer, you're slowing down. Having trouble? Let's see, Dark Knight's Metal. Board Game Geek, let's do this. Gotta go to those forums, we're gonna look up Superman. Highly recommend using Board Game Geek whenever you have issues like this. Um, really, no. No answers to this one. Does the Superman superhero make the turn any penalty of, or does it just for the hero capture only? Superman does not push the turn ending penalty of to three as well. He's a good example of an idea that was easy enough to describe in plain text, but tricky to get clear in rule speak. Blah, 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 blah. Him and the actual weakness text to get it somewhere where we were, we hope it was clear because effect felt like something set one to have available. I believe soup's effect might have been in since the first draft of the set actually. Okay, let's try that again. Does Superman superhero for Dark Knight's Metal? Okay, he protects all the superheroes. I get that. My question is the weaknesses read if you control two weakness cards, put one in your score pile and return one to the weakness stack. So, I understand the characters are protected. My question is, do these now follow the normal two weakness rules outside of removing a character? Like, I've played two. Do these go away now? And the characters are protected. Um, make the turn ending penalty of weakness three, or is it just for the hero capture only? He does push the turn ending penalty to three. All right, I guess it doesn't end my turn, and I guessed that they don't, I guess the, they lose that particular text on the weakness. That's all I've got, that's all I can guess. Okay, so we are gonna use breakthrough on one of these weaknesses. So that's two power. Then, oh, because we played a weakness, we get to draw a card. Oh, it's a weakness, which we have to put down. Um, I was going to magic that other weakness. Now I am not going to magic that other weakness. So we are at three power. Uh, with that three power, we will buy a, a breakthrough. I think that's pretty clear. I think it's pretty clear that we're going, oh, because of, man, if I just used Batman, I would have destroyed that weakness. Man, too much to keep track of. That's my biggest problem right now of Dark Knight's Metal. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight heroes. I haven't even read Wonder Woman yet. I don't know what she does. If you control two or more equipment and or superpowers, draw two cards and then discard two cards. Okay, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. New card comes out. Then, because of Atlantis attacks, Carter Hall out there is gonna put a weakness into my hand. That is two weaknesses going out. That's two power, well, we'll do one at a time. So one power, and we'll use Batman's ability. We will not destroy that. Two power, uh, three, four, five, six, and we'll draw a card. Play the top card of the main deck, seven. And since it is a, a defense card, we draw a card. Please don't be a weakness. 
Man. Man. Okay. So, requires three weakness cards for your characters to become captured. All right, so two go to the stack and one goes, you know what, we're getting rid of these and we're getting rid of, this is probably the for the best, let's be honest. It's gonna be one less thing for me to keep track of. So, basically what happens is since I have Superman, I played three weaknesses. Um, I, one of them is goes to a score pile, two of them go back to the stack, and I'm now going to lose a hero. We're going to get rid of probably Kendra Saunders, let's be honest. That is the one I've used the least. So she's going to be captured. All right, let's go ahead and get our new ones going. One, two, three, four, five. New card comes out. Man, this is gonna hurt because Carter Hall is going to attack me and I have to gain another weakness. I have to play all three of them. One goes back, on, two go back on the stack, one goes in my score pile, and we're gonna lose another hero. This time we're gonna lose, I think we're gonna voluntarily lose Mr. Terrific. I really like Mr. Terrific, but the issue becomes, I don't wanna gain weaknesses right now. The other issue becomes that I keep forgetting to use Batman. I'm gonna just allow myself to do it just one time. I played three of them, I allowed myself to do it once. We're not gonna destroy Bow Staff though, so totally worth it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is better. I can work with this. I can work with this. We will get attacked by Carter Hall. A new card has to come out. We get attacked by Carter Hall, so we have to gain a weakness into our hand. We're going to play said weakness. Then we're going to use Batman's ability first. Batman's ability says I can look at the top card of my deck and I may destroy it. All right, Batman, look at this. We will not destroy it, but because of the rot, we will draw it. So there's that. We have another weakness. So that's two power because of Superman. We look at this card. Because of Batman, we may destroy it. We will not destroy that card. All right, so we are at two power. Then we will do John Constantine, reveal two cards. Man. Um, I guess we'll gain X-ray vision and leave magic here. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Oh, because of the rot, we get to draw another card. So I guess that's what's happening. So we are at, just so I don't lose track, we have two power. Four power because of uh, Forge World. And anything else going on here I'm not losing track of? Okay. Five, six, seven with Cyborg. Play the top card. Yes, we will play Signature Trench Coat. Um, what do we want to gain? Anything? We could gain magic again, get that back. Get some magic back in here. Um, I think we're just going to gain a breakthrough. It's not a huge, valuable card, but I could really use it. So again, we are at two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and ah, I can draw two cards and then discard two cards. Um, we will discard Warcry because I'm scared to draw a card, <laughs> and we will discard multiverse map because we know it's only worth one power so seven eight nine i may next time you gain one more weakness cards this turn put one into a foes discard pile uh we are going to double up on that one so that's 10 11 11 plus three is going to put me at 14 
And then 17 with bow staff. Did I miss anything else? Da, 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 da. I'm just making sure I have so many hero abilities. Making sure I didn't miss. So I have 17 power then. Goodbye, Carter Hall. I never want to see that again. Not in, uh, not in this version. So that brings me down to 10. Get rid of this one. Bring me down to 3 power. I have to, what, discard 3 non-starter cards with different card types. Well, that's too late now. Um, so I have discarded, I'm not on the 7 power. Uh, with that 7, there's got to be something I can do pretty useful. Don't want another location. Ooh, that's a defense, though. I want power channeling, I think. I think that's what we're going to go with. I'm certain that's what we're going to go with. All right, that's the end of that water. We're going to have to take a break soon. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, new card has to come out for the beginning of the turn. And there are no villains because of Atlantis attacks. So we have to put a card out there, also not a villain. To beat it, each player must discard three non-starter cards, each are different card types. Um, we will do a one... Oh, Breakthrough doesn't have a card type, and neither does Weakness. <laughs> All right, we'll play a Weakness, which we'll get one power for. We can Batman this, and we will destroy this Weakness. Holy crap, it worked. And then we can draw a card. Then we will break through said weakness. All right, so we are at one, two, three power. And then we have one, two, three card types. That's goodbye Atlanta's attacks. Oh, the Joker was supposed to be adding cards the entire time. <sighs> Man, sometimes it's hard to keep track of everything. All right, so breakthrough is going to bring me to four, five power total. With that five power, we will do what? Um, I guess we'll get Oblivion Bar because it is a defense card, and we could use that, right? New card coming out. I will say this particular set would probably probably be very useful in Crisis Three for um, the a, a City Destroyed, two, three, four, five, this, A City Destroyed um, Crisis. We are really going to fill up this lineup because with the Joker, I was supposed to be adding another card every turn, so I'm going to add, uh, to make up for it, I'll add three cards this turn. So one, two, three. I know it's really full. I'm hoping to clear out a lot of it, but you know how it goes sometimes. First up is The Weakness. And the weakness allows me to, to do Batman with this card. We will not, because of the route we get to draw it. Then we will use Breakthrough on that. So we're at one, two, three power. Uh, three and three is six plus um, Cyborg brings me to seven. Uh, eight and nine, we're going to say Hero. Hey, gain a card of four less from the lineup. Uh, we will gain Electorum, Electrum. So we are at three, four, five, six, seven. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, nine. Oh, ten, eleven for down here with Forge of Worlds. Ah, uh, and then we have two heroes here. Do I get anything for that? No, that was Kendra Saunders. You know, the one I always forget to do. Um, if I control two or more heroes and or equipment, put up to three cards with cost zero from the discard pile into your hand. I'm going to put, this is going to sound crazy, I'm going to put two weaknesses into my hand. There's a reason for this. So we are at, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 power, 12, and then we'll Batman this. We won't do anything with that. 
13, plus 4 from Superman is 17, getting rid of each of these. 18, 19. I don't think we have four different card types, though. No. So 19 power total is going to be enough to say goodbye the Joker and still have nine left over, so we'll get rid of Court of Owls. And then we'll still have four, which we will use. We're going to not buy a signature trench coat. We're going to save that for later. We will use to get... Oh, what's Brutal Chase? Um, yeah, we'll buy Brutal Chase in the hopes of using it to destroy villains. Actually, no. Breakthrough. We're getting a Breakthrough card. What am I thinking? Need those Breakthrough cards. I am going to take a short break there. We'll be right back. We'll do the new Crisis card and the new villain. I just have to fill my water up. That's it. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Something I realized just after I left was I forgot to gain two weaknesses and our new hero for beating the Joker. So, our new hero is going to be one of these three. They are Mr. Terrific, Kendra Saunders, or Plastic Man. Once during each of your turns, you may have the next card you play or gain. You may have the next card you play gain a type or subtype of your choice until the end of the turn. That's very nice. Can make it a metal card. Can make it a defense card, I guess. I don't think that's a subtype. Um, hmm. I think we're going to go with Plastic Man. Yeah, Plastic Man it is. One more thing to forget about. One, two, three, four. It's got to shuffle up this discard pile. How many weaknesses do I have now? One, two, three, four. You know what? Four with all that, that's not bad. Uh, there might be a few more in these four cards. We don't know right now. But that's pretty good. I mean, I've had worse, let's be honest. The move subtype? Yeah, why not, right? I wish. How much movement is it going to take to move one, two, three, four, five, six heroes now? Sorry, seven heroes. 
Is it going to take seven move, you think? That'd actually be interesting. If they adopt this system for for the rebirth system, are they going to make it so that you can divide the movement between... They probably wouldn't do that. It's probably just way too complicated for people. Just play one hero when you're playing one re when you're playing Rebirth. I play solo Rebirth quite a bit, and even that I sometimes lose track that I even have the ability to move the other character. All right, so get this card ready. One, two, three, four, five. Please, no more than one weakness. There's two weaknesses. Uh Okay. Why do I have the Carter Hall card now when I don't have a discard pile? That's unfortunate. All right, the new crisis is collapsing parallel worlds. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I've been preparing for. This is why Signature Trench Coat is out there. This is why, well, Signature Trench Coat is out there. <laughs> Let's be honest, that's the only one I really cared about. Because with Signature Trench Coat, it doesn't matter what you destroy. Most cards you can still get back. They're not gone forever. If you can get that all the way to collapsing parallel worlds, you're fine. So each player places all cards he buys or gains from the lineup under this card, including villains. Remove this crisis when there are 10 cards under it. So my plan here, definitely sings your trench coat. That's one of them. Two of them are going to be trench or are going to be breakthrough. Reason being, if I defeat the when I defeat the villain, I'm going to gain two weaknesses, so I might as well already have two breakthrough cards. So that's three of those slots. Then we're just going to grab things that fit our hero. So we're going to grab this metal card. We'll grab some heroes. We'll grab uh, a defense card up there for, well, multiple reasons, really. And that's what we're going to do. That's, that's the game plan here. Collapsing parallel worlds. There it is. Then we have a new villain. Do I have a defense card? I do. I'm not even going to read it. And we're going to use Phantom Zone Projector. Discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, you may destroy a card in your discard pile. That's unfortunate because I don't have a discard pile right now. I do have two weaknesses in my hand, but that's not going to help me. Fortunately, we have Carter's Hall Journal to get that card back. So, what we're going to do... Well, we have to play weaknesses first. So we'll play one weakness and then we'll Batman this card. We will not, but because of the Rot, we can draw a card. Then we'll play this other weakness, and we'll Batman this card. We will not destroy that either. Then we'll play Carter's Hall, Car Carter Hall's Journal, which allows us to put the Phantom Projector back on top. Yes, please. So we are at 1, 2. What's this as far as power? Nothing. So that's no power there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, five, six. What can I do when I have two equipment? I know there's something. I can draw two cards, then discard two cards. We will discard. Um, I guess we're going to discard these two, because I actually want to use Signature Trench Coat. So we are at six power. We're going to use Signature Trench Coat to get... Oh, we had to destroy something we really want. Something we really want. Hmm. Man, maybe I haven't destroyed that many cards. I guess I haven't destroyed that many cards. This has been a pretty light uh, destruction game. Um, I mean, Court of Owls is plus one and draw a card. That's good. I think we'll get magic. You never know what you're going to want to magic. But when you only have ten cards in your hand, it's not that important. So I think what we'll do is Animal Man. We're going to put one Animal Man under Collapsing Parallel Worlds. Then we use our six power to buy a Signature Trench Coat and Prometheum. So that is now three cards under Collapsing Parallel Worlds. That is that turn. Okay. New card comes out. Then, ooh, Magician's Course, a good one. Two, three, four, five. How are we doing here? We are going to use our Dark Knight Multiverse ability to get a weakness into our hand. 
Play the weakness, that's one power. We'll use Batman to destroy this. Yes, please. And then, because of the rot, we also draw a card. Very good. Very, very good. We will use John Constantine. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Draw one of them, put the other on top of your deck, or destroy it. We will draw Prometheum, and we'll leave Breakthrough on top of the deck. So we are at, again, two power, and that's it, right? Nope, three power here. Four, five, we're going to break through this weakness. Goodbye to this weakness. Six, seven, eight, put a new location out. Um, where is it? Where's Dr. Fate? If I control two or more heroes and or equipment, which I do, I put up the three cards with zero cost from my discard pile into my hand. Well, there's only one over there, so we're going to do that. Eight, nine, Batman. We will not destroy that. 10, 11, goodbye there. 11 and four is 15, plus play a top card of the main deck. 16, 17, if I've played an equipment, yeah. 18, 19 total then. So we have 19. We're gonna buy Magician's Corset, so that's five. 14, minus two breakthroughs. Um, so that's going to bring me down to 9, right? Because that was 5. That was f I forgot what I had again. Shoot, I forgot how much power I had. Right, correct. Clouds and Parallel Worlds. Oh, you're right. So these breakthroughs won't actually go in there. Darn. I will have to leave them out then. Uh, you're right. Yep. I forgot how much power I had anyway, so I know we destroyed at least two weaknesses. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus four is going to be eleven. And then I played that twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. And then sixteen, seventeen. So m corset will do, bringing that down to twelve. And with that twelve, we will. Well, we might as well get War Cry for four. And then we still have eight. We'll get Brutal Chase. Chase. So we have four more. We'll get Aquaman. And we'll get Phoenix Cannon, because I'm feeling brave. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards here. That's pretty good. I don't think I've used Plastic Man yet, and he was the one I was most excited to use this turn. New card comes out. We already know what it is, obviously. One, two, three, four, five. Black Mana is going to cost three extra for each equipment out there, so we probably should buy these. I'll buy Bow Staff. We'll wait till after Collapsing Parallel Worlds to get rid of Quiver of Arrows, because I don't want it. All right, so beginning of my turn, we can gain a zero-cost card from my discard pile and put it into our hand. There is none. We actually got to the point that there is none. All right, two and draw a card. Three, four, we'll say it's a superpower. It's a weakness. All right, so how are we going to take care of this? Anything I can do with heroes? Nothing right now. Oh, wait, but we can change a type. No. Yes. No. What could we change it to that'll matter? We need superpowers. Yes. Okay. So we're going to say... How many superpowers have we played? We're going to say Hal Jordan is a superpower because of Plastic Man. So that's two superpowers. We're going to use that to gain bow staff. And then since I played two superpowers, I can draw two cards, then discard two cards. Yikes. We will discard Plastic Man and one weakness. Why? No, yeah, we'll play Plastic Man and one weakness. Okay. 
So then we're gonna play a weakness. We're at two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on that weakness. And we'll double down on this animal man. Uh, 10, 11, and we'll say it's a hero. It is. Man, it's getting messy over here. I can draw one. Leave the other on top. We'll play that. So 11, I can get this many. Ooh, 11 plus 4. That's 15 power. How many cards do we have under here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, 15 power. What's the most expensive card I can buy? 15 power. Anka Portal is good for three. This is pretty much a guaranteed four, though, most turns. So we're going to go Cyborg 1 million. And with that, that's the end of Collapsing Parallel Worlds. So remove this crisis when there are 10 cards under this card. Then one player destroys his deck and discard pile. The cards under this crisis card becomes his new deck. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. All right. All of this is going to the destroyed pile. Collapsing Parallel Worlds is gone. Thankfully, locations are not, as far as I know, part of your deck or your destroy pile. They are cards you control. So, woohoo! Keep so many locations. One more uh, thing to keep track of, I guess. Well, six more things to keep track of. Oh no, did I just shuffle those in here? What did I do with them? I think I just shuffled them in here. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. No, that wasn't in there. That was. That was. That was. That was. Oh, it was Prometheum in there, but I think it was just one of them. Animal Man. Phoenix Cannon definitely was. Aquaman was, Cyborg was, and Bow Staff was, but I think we already did one Bow Staff. So was that 10 there? Good thing I was thinking about it the whole time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One of these is too many. So one of these was not. I think it was Electrum. Yeah, I think we had Prometheum. Electrum is gone. Okay, so that's our 10 cards. We haven't defeated a villain yet, so we don't have a bunch of weaknesses, thankfully. Ugh, I hate making little mistakes like that. And there's Nth Metal Mace. One, two, three, four, five. Cost nine. Yikes. All right, we have two signature trench coats. We are going to use those to gain two cards of cost five or less. Luckily, I just destroyed a bunch of cards. So we're going to gain John Constantine. Then we're going to gain another John Constantine. We're just going to constantly John Constantine. John constantly done. All right, so that is zero power, but I play two equipment, and with that I can draw two cards and discard two cards. All right, we will discard Brutal Chase and Bow Staff. No, Brutal Chase and Phoenix Cannon. All right, one, we'll say this is a superpower, it's an equipment. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight because it's an equipment, nine, ten because of the location, and anything else in here I'm missing? I think that's all of them. So ten is not enough to beat Black Mana because of all of these, but it's enough to buy Nth Metal Mace and buy Quiver of Arrows, which are the only two equipment out there affecting Black Mana's price. So that is fine by me. Whew, we are filling up this lineup. We have so many heroes. We only have three cards left here. Time to shuffle this up. With those two John Constantines, we are going to fly through these decks. These hands are going to go quickly. One, two, three, four, five. What do we got? We can signature trench coat again, another one. We will. Signature Trench Coat. We're going to go into the Destroyed Pile real quick. I could probably get Magic, but I don't want to. That might be a little too powerful. 
Phantom Zone Projector is a good defense card. X-Ray Vision has done well for me so far. It's done very well for me. Just found that weakness in there and wanted to get rid of it. Ooh, I'm going to go with Dionysium, I'm pretty sure. I'll keep looking, but ooh. Yes, Onomar's Sin, because he's four power. That's pretty hard to beat. All right, that's what we're going to gain. Still at zero power. Each choose any number of players. Each of those players gets plus, can, draws a card and plus one power for each power. So that's one, one power, and that's two equipment, which means I can draw two cards and discard two cards. We will discard Bow Staff and War Cry. We are at two, what are we at? One, two, three power. Draw two cards, discard. Or draw, reveal two cards, yeah, this, and we'll leave that one there. So, again, we are at one, two, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and oh, what was this? It was an equipment. That's right. Sixteen plus three is nineteen, which is more than enough to beat Black Manta. And I still have nine left over. We will go ahead. We're going to grab Ankh Portal and we'll grab Escape. Yes, yes, yes. We're also going to gain two weaknesses. I should have. In fact, no, it's too late now. I would have grabbed a breakthrough if I was smart. Just to get rid of those weaknesses I know I just grabbed. It's not like it was a mystery that was about to happen. All right, new hero. We're going to go with Mr. Terrific now because we have so few of these, uh, uh, these, uh, so few of these weaknesses floating around so far. Two, three, four, five. We might make a few risks for Mr. Terrific. All right. New crisis. At the start of your turn, discard all cards that share the lowest cost in your hand. Each player discards a random card with his hand from his hand. Remove this crisis if each of those cards has a cost one or greater. That's easy to do. And then our new villain is Atrocitus. Each player puts his hand under his superhero. If you avoid this attack, put a random card from your hand under the superhero. When the villain is defeated, discard those cards. Okay. I think we have this. Discard a card cost one or greater from your hand to avoid an attack. And I think we will. I think we will discard Phoenix Cannon to avoid that attack. And when we do, we have to put what a random card underneath the villain. With a random card under your uh, under your superhero. Okay, we'll go with this one here. I am going to look at which one it is. Then, beginning of my turn, we have Wave of Terror. At the start of your turn, discard all cards that share the lowest cost in your hand rule. That's Quiver of Arrows, easily. And then to beat it, each player discards a random card from his hand. Remove this crisis of each of those cards that's cost one or greater. Well, it's definitely going away. The question is, which card are we discarding along the way? I don't even know. Whoop, 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 whoop. That one. Ah, uh, John Constantine. Oh, well. Wave of Terror is gone. That's good. Brutal Chase. Destroy a card in the lineup and replace it in the... Uh, and replace it. If the replacement is a metal card, you may gain it. So I have to destroy a card in the lineup then? I guess I'll destroy a flight. Have a new card come out. It's not a metal card. So that's two, three, four power, which we will use to buy multiverse map. I have to beat Atrocitus. Not too bad. I could have used Mr. Terrific there, gain three cards, but I don't know. Just felt risky. Also, let's be honest, I forgot I have the ability. Because I have too many abilities right now. I have eight heroes and I have six locations. That's an absurd amount of things to remember. All right, we're gonna play this weakness, which is one power because of Superman, and we can Batman this card. Yeah, we'll destroy Quiver of Arrows. And we will use the Rot to draw a card. I don't think we put a new card out. Yeah, I think we forgot. So we are at one power. 
Ah, uh, plus three is four. It's in a metal card, so that's five. Um, six, seven, eight. We're gonna say this is an equipment. It is. Eight plus three is eleven. Twelve, and we can gain a card from the destroyed pile, or we could just get two more power and buy a breakout. I think we're going to get. We're just gonna get two power and buy a breakout. Defeat Atrocitus. Discard this card that was here. What was it? It was, oh, Signature Trench Coat. Gain two weaknesses and get a new hero. That new hero being, hey, look, Kendra Saunders back again. And a new card's going to go underneath the Batman who laughs. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's see how this goes. New card has to come out. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. John Constantine's all the way. Okay. Do I have a defense card? I don't, but I do have Oblivion Bar. We will go with the new Crisis, which is Rise of the Rot. This is the one I've kind of been fearing. At start of your turn, gain a weakness, unless you reveal one from your hand. Hey, look! I can reveal one from my hand. Each player must discard a weakness card. Also, remove the crisis if the weakness stack runs out. That is the perfect time for that to come out. Each player must discard a weakness card? Yes. First appearance stack. This attack can't be avoided. Each player gains X weaknesses, where X is equal to the highest VP value among cards in their hand. Um, we're going to gain one weakness. That's okay. It's the beginning of my turn. We will reveal this from our hand to avoid Rise of the Rot. Then we will discard it to remove Rise of the Rot. So that was easy. We will do John Constantine. Look at the top two cards here. Draw one, and I may destroy the other. We'll draw Cyborg and leave the other one there. Then we're going to John Constantine. Draw two. Ooh, we'll draw Nth Metal Mace and leave this on top. Where are we now? What happens when I get two heroes? Right here. That's two power. So we're at two. Four with Forge Worlds. Um, five, six, seven with Cyborg. Draw a card, an eight. Eleven. Eleven plus four is fifteen, plus Cyborg is sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one with Cyborg. I'm sure there's other stuff I could do. Uh, I don't feel like trying to read through everything. Instead, because I don't think anything's going to destroy a card, which is what I really want to do. 21, we're going to say goodbye to Lex Luthor. We're going to buy one breakthrough. So that's 14, so I still have 7 left over. Or instead of breakthrough, do we want to get Element X? We'll get Element X, because that's going to be 6 power with Cyborg. Yes, yes, yes! That was quick and easy. We are now also filling up our hand with more weaknesses. But we get another hero, and that hero is Hal Jordan. One more thing to forget. The second time you buy or gain a card from the lineup during each of your turns, you may destroy a starter you control. Nice. Nice. That's quick. Did you have, um, let's see, what's a good crisis? Did you have Demonic Summoning? How'd it go? I guess with Demonic Summoning, you at least have, since you're using Crisis 2, you have White Lantern Core and a few other ones. Yeah, you'd probably be fine. Demonic Summoning is just always the one I worry about the most. At least you could destroy weaknesses easier with a, easily with it. Uh, the one I'm worried about here in this game, with uh, still have, what, four Crises left, is if I get the Countdown one, I'm kind of nervous about that one. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's get our new hand ready. One, two, three, four. Ugh. Gotta shuffle it up, get our fifth one. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Batman Who Laughs has to capture a new character. I'm curious, will I have every character come the end of the game? That is entirely possible. 
And at this point, I almost feel like it's likely. New Crisis is... Electromagnetic Pulse. Put the top three cards of the main deck into the lineup. One. Two. Three. Equipment cards lose all text and have plus one power instead. Each player must destroy an equipment in hand. Okay. And then our new villain is Parallax. Oh, it looks like I forgot to actually remove two Crisis cards. Whoops. Remove those bottom two then. That's good. That's always the hardest part. I feel like demonic summoning is always a huge problem when you don't have three six card three six cost cards already. Or the ones that you do have are villains in the destroyed pile. And now you have all these six cost villains out here that you can't even use because they're just gonna go to the destroyed pile. It's a pain. You gotta add them then for something else. Alright, parallax ability. Each player reveals his hand and discards all cards of cost three or less. I guess we'll just use escape on it. Discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, draw two cards, then discard two cards. One, two, and I think we'll discard a weakness, and we'll discard bow staff because it's only going to be one power right now. Then we are going to each player must destroy an equipment from hand. We'll go ahead and destroy. You know what? Instead of that, instead of bow staff, I think we'll discard multiverse map and we will destroy bow staff for electromagnetic pulse okay how are we doing here don't even know what everything does so do we want to do that yes why not we will use dark multiverse no it's still the beginning of my turn i haven't done any non-beginning of my turn stuff so we'll gain a weakness so that's one power. We can Batman this, destroy it, and then use the Rot to draw a card. Oh, it's another weakness, unfortunately. So that's two power. Three, four, five. Six, seven. We will destroy Flight and put a new card out there. Hey, if it's a metal card, I may gain it. Thank you. So that's, again, two, four, Five, six. I feel like I had seven. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight down here. I guess that's it. Must just be eight. Um, I could use this, but I don't want to draw a card out of fear of getting another weakness. So I think we'll just stop there at the eight. And I think we'll just buy 8th Metal Sunblade. Makes sense to me. Fill up on those, uh, fill up on those metal cards. Oh, this weakness has to get out of here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's what I was worried about. Okay, two weaknesses. So one weakness, Batman. We will not destroy that, but we will use the Rot to draw it. And then... Two weaknesses, Batman. We will not destroy that. We will break through one of those weaknesses. So that two just became four power. Uh, reveal two cards. We'll gain Cyborg and leave this on top. So four. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. Yep, five, six. Six plus uh, five is 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 power there is enough to be parallax. Yes. And then we still have 9 left over. With that 9, I think what I'm going to do is yes, I'll gain one breakthrough. And we'll use the other 6 to get dream, I think. Or uh, anti monitor's antenna is good. Maybe, yeah, I think T series is dangerous. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dream. I also have to gain two weaknesses. Since we beat a villain, that is another hero to gain, and it is Deathstroke, which we will use quite often, quite liberally. 
Maybe not. We're at the last villain here, but two, three, four, five. And we all know what that is. Okay. We have Final Countdown. That was my fear earlier, was it not? At the start of your turn, put a card with cost one or greater from your hand into the lineup. Your team must destroy cards in the lineup with cost seven, six, five, four, three, and two. That's going to be actually pretty difficult, I think. Crisis Anti Monitor. Whenever a hero is added to the lineup, each player puts a weakness from the stack on top of his deck. That's dangerous. Crisis Anti-Monitor costs one more to defeat for each card in the lineup. Well, we're going to clear the lineup pretty well. Each player must defeat his villain to win the game. All right, but I think there's an additional rule. Yeah, for solo play, discard a random card if it's... Oh, that's the wrong one, sorry. Add the top card of the main deck to the lineup. So two cards are going to go out every turn. Fortunately, with Final Countdown, that can only help. Hey, there's a seven-cost card. The very next card was cost seven, so that solves that problem. And then a second card comes out, neither of them heroes. Okay, so at the start of my turn, I have to put a card of cost one or greater from my hand to the lineup. I guess what we'll do is put Aquaman out there, because he's not doing much for me. Then, any other start of my turn things? Not right now. We will play. Oh, we'll play this weakness. We have to play the weakness, I should say. So that's one power. Really, I didn't know. I don't think I've even seen the Wonder Woman card yet. I played this game once yesterday of my wife for the first time, and I don't think we saw the Wonder Woman card then either. I'm very lucky that this came up as the very next card in the lineup. Then... I get one power, and we can Batman this. We will not, but we will the Rot it. And we can use the Rot to get cards we don't really want out of there. So, one, and then we'll use John Constantine to reveal these two. We will draw this and leave Phoenix Cannon, or destroy Phoenix Cannon. No, leave it and destroy it next turn. So, we're at one power. Plus three is four, plus a metal is five. Six, seven, eight, and then I have two John Constantines, which we are going to use to get cards I don't want. So I have two, three, four, five. Oh, we already have it. I need a card of cost six to go out there because this one can't be used. But we already have two, three, four, five, and seven. So I need cards of cost six, but Trenchcoat can't get me cards of cost six. Uh, so I guess we can grab something we actually want. We'll do Electrum. For one of them, that's right, I get to gain two. And the other one we'll gain is magic, I'm thinking. I hope I have six. I know I had to destroy a bunch of six cards for, um, oh, for Collapsing Parallel Worlds. And my fear right now is I don't actually have a six to use. And I can't gain six from the destroyed pile because the max I can gain is a card of cost five. And Dionysium, that's tempting. Um, we'll do Carter Hall's Journal. That's a good one. Okay, I forgot how much power I had, though. So that's one, five. That's a bunch of power. That's more than enough to beat Black Adam. I'm just going to stop at beating Black Adam, honestly. i uh, got to shuffle this up, put a new card out there, two new cards out there, actually, because of Crisis Anti-Monitor. Man, if I get a card of cost six in my draw, it's going out immediately. No doubt in my mind. Just need one card of cost six to go out. None of my locations are cost six. Not that there's anything that makes me discard locations right now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Weaknesses? Yeah, plenty. Start of our turn, we have to put a card out there. We'll put Phoenix Cannon out. Not a big fan of it. All right, one weakness, Batman. We will destroy that, and then we'll use the Rot to draw a card. Then we have to play a weakness. That's two, Batman. Destroy that. Yes, thank you. Two weaknesses gained, and, or sorry, two played, two destroyed. That's fine. Two power. Um, three and draw a card. Okay. Four, five, six. 
Then, gain a card that costs five or less from the discard pile. We will gain... We will gain... Man, did I destroy all the sixes? That would really be terrible. I need something here. Something that's going to turn this around for me. Captain Adam, I know I destroyed both of them. Yikes. I might be out of luck here. I will get Detective Chimp. He'll go my discard pile, and then we will use Carter Hall to put Detective Chimp on top of my deck. So, again, we are at... What was it? Three, four, five, six power. Uh, there's two threes out there, so we'll go ahead and buy steel. New card coming out. And then another card coming out because of Crisis Anti Monitor. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five. We are getting down to the wire here. Reveal the top three cards. Oh, wait, no, wait. Started my turn. I have to put a card out there. I have an eight, a four, a four, a five, and a two. Uh, we're going to put this Brutal Chase out there. Yeah, Multiverse Map would be useful right now. Don't think I have it, though. I think I actually do have it available. How could I use Multiverse Map? A multiverse Map. Is that the card I'm thinking? Maybe Multiverse Map is something else. I thought Multiverse Map just copied the top card of the main deck, or is that a different card? There it is. Reveal the top card of the main deck, plus power equal to its VP value. Oh, then you, I see. You can put it on the bottom of your deck, therefore increase the odds of a 6 being close to the top of your deck because you got rid of something else. I get you now. Where was I? All right, we're going to use Detective Chimp for the sole purpose of flowing through our deck. So reveal the top three cards of your deck, stop when empty, and discard any number of them. None of these cost six. We are going to get rid of this, discard this weakness, but that's it. So that's one power. Um, two, three, and I can draw a card. Four, five, six, seven. And there's something if I draw two heroes and villains. Where are you, Kendra? Where are you, Kendra? Oh, eight, nine. There we go. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Put one of each type into your hand and discard the rest. Uh, that's not a type. These two are, though. So we're at eight, two... We will draw this one and destroy this weakness. 9, 10, 11. Plus 5 is uh, 16. And then I have a bunch of equipment here. What can I do with multiple equipment? I can draw two cards and then discard two cards. Ooh, we'll discard Signature Trench Coat and Cyborg. I forgot how much power I had. We'll just say 10 to round it. I think it was higher than that. But 10 plus 6 is 16. 16. So we have a 7. We don't have a 6 still. We have a 5. We're going to keep this 5. So we have 11 now. And I think we'll just stop there. Oh, we'll get rid of Deathstroke. Okay. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I could have drawn a card for all those weaknesses I destroyed. Whatever. That's just how my life goes. Well, there's multiverse map at least. So two cards coming out. One costs four and one costs two. I have to put a card out into the lineup. We will make it escape. Really filling up this area with heroes. Sorry for the mess. Don't have a choice right now. <laughs> Gotta fit it all on camera somehow. Okay. We have to play the weakness, which we can Batman this card. Ah! Oh! Ha ha! But... I have to draw it now. First time I play a weakness, during each of your turns, draw a card. We have a cost six card. That's what's important here. So, that's one. Put a hero, villain, or metal card. No, we're not going to do that. How can I get through this deck as fast as possible with Dream coming up sooner? 
All right, we're at one power. We're gonna do multiverse map. It's cost three, uh, gets me one power, so that's two power. Put that at the bottom of the deck just to increase the odds that some other six comes up. So that's two. Put a hero, villain, or metal card from my discard pile into my hand. Thankfully, ah, but it's in this hand. That's too bad. Hero, villain, or metal card? There's got to be some one of those. Ooh, John Constantine's going to help me move quick. So is 8th eighth, eighth Metal Sunblade even faster. I think 8th Metal Sunblade might be the best bet right now. Ooh, Carter Hall's Journal. Well, if we can get that one soon. We can use that to put Dream on top of our deck not draw any more cards, and then the next turn we'd have a six card. Okay, we're going to put, we're going to draw this this metal card and put it into our hand. Very good. Then we're gonna play steel to draw a card. So time to shuffle this discard pile. What are we at power-wise? One, two, three, four, oh, for each, Equipment and or metal card. Okay, so four, five then. Mm. Reveal the top three cards in the main deck. Gain one of them. Return the other cards in any order. We'll gain John Constantine. And then we'll play this. Reveal the top four cards of the main deck. Put one of each type into your hand and discard the rest. One more. Uh, uh, we'll get the Magician's Corset for drawing a card. Weaknesses don't have types, and signature cards are also equipment. So I forgot where I was. So one, two, three, four, four power, five, six, seven. Oh, from the main deck? Oh, you're right. I will remember that for next time. I, it's too unfair for me at this point to try and repeat it, but that is a much better read since I misread that. Next time we'll do it right. Try to be fair. Draw a card. Yikes, got to play this weakness. That's eight. We can Batman this card. We will not. All right, we're going to do John Constantine. Draw two. Again, we will leave this one on top. One, two, and then this for another three. Is that everything? Yeah, that's a ton of power. An unbelievable amount of power. Well, it's pretty believable, let's be honest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. With that 13, I guess I might as well buy some cards that are going to help me move through the deck. We should get Carter's Hall Journal. Carter Hall's Journal. And we'll get Detective Chimp. Okay. Then we should probably buy cards at some point just because Crisis Anti Monitor is going to be too expensive. What did that cost me? That cost me 6. I counted 13. So that leaves me with 7. We'll buy the cheap ones. So it's, uh, I don't want to buy too many cheap ones. We're going to focus on get rid of Final Countdown, and then we'll focus on clearing the lineup to make Crisis Anti-Monitor cheaper. One, two, three, four, five. New card comes out, and then because of Crisis Anti-Monitor, another card comes out. There's the other seven-cost card, Wonder Woman, as was prophesied. And there's Carter's Hall, Carter Hall's Journal. We're going to play that last this turn, put Dream on top of the deck, have Dream next turn to get rid of Final Countdown. I have to get rid of something this turn, though. And that something is going to be Prometheum. It's not a great card, and it's pretty cheap and easy to buy back. So, one, two, three, four. Draw or reveal two cards. We'll get Batmanium and leave this back. Reveal the top card of your deck, plus power equal to its VP value. So that's one. So that's one, two. Five, six, seven, eight over here. 
9-10, put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck, and that's going to be Dream. So with that 10, we're going to buy... Um, Uh, was it? I was trying to add two every turn. Did I miss it? Oh, when the hero enters the lineup, gain a weakness. Yeah, I think I did miss that. Um, Wonder Woman joined. And probably one of these... I'm going to give myself two weaknesses just to try and balance that. It's the best I can do at this point. Like you said, it is just so much to keep track of. Uh, I forgot how much power I had. Uh, I think it was 7. So minus that 2 will leave us... Or no, it was 10, that's right. And I was considering buying Wonder Woman. But I think the most effective use of my time is going to be clearing this lineup. We'll get Anti-Monitor um, Antenna. Leaving with 5. Get Prometheum. Leaving with 3. And we'll get Phantom Zone Projector. To get 3 more. Yeah, way too many things to remember. Okay. Well, our plan is coming together now. Two cards are coming out. Neither of them are heroes, so that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Beginning of our turn, we add a card to the lineup. We're adding Dream. Sweet dreams are made of this. All right, just about the end here. Weakness card. That is one card. That's one point. We're going to Batman it. Oh, God. <laughs> one point. Uh, we will not destroy that card, but we will use the Rot to draw it. So that's one power right now. Two, reveal the top three cards. Oh, I won't do that yet. One plus five is six plus a metal. Brings it to seven. Draw a card. Plus one for each equipment, so that's going to be eight. Plus five here is going to be thirteen. 13 plus 1 here is going to be 14. Man. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Reveal the top 3 cards of my deck. Discard any number of them. I think I was at 20, right? 20, 20, 20. Got too many numbers going around in my head. We will discard this weakness and leave these two on top. I'm just going to recount real quick because it's very easy for me to lose track of this. We have one from this weakness. Then we got five here. So that's six because it's a metal. It's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it's a metal, so that's 13. Plus five, since this is a metal, is 18. And then this guy counts one for each equipment or metal. So... 19, 20, 21, actually. 21 total. Well, with 21, we're going to say goodbye to Ra's al Ghul, leaving us with 17 power. Now, since there's no villains, goodbye to this. Goodbye to this. Where's our 5? There's our 5. Where's our 4? Uh, we'll do this one. Our 3 and our 2. All right? Yeah destroyed. So, with that in mind, that's all that's left out there. I believe I said I had 17 power left. No, 16. No, 17. It was 17. He's going to cost me 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's not happening this turn. But with 17, we're going to get some pretty powerful cards. Or I could clear the lineup. Oh, I like that card. That's draw two cards. And plus one for each character on your team. Oh, yes, thank you, Kendra Saunders. Yes. So, with Kendra Saunders, that is 19 power. Did I play a defense card? I played a defense card. So with Barry Allen, that is draw a card. 19 plus 3 is 22, plus the medal is 23, and I believe this counted another medal. So that's 24, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19... I have 24 power this turn. It's over. It's over. It's possible. And honestly, this is a respectable respectable main deck side to have at the end. I've had worse games than this. And I had a lot of fun doing this. I don't see why this is too difficult. 
I definitely see a lot of obstacles that are new. And I see some things that were difficult, like for whatever reason, Final Countdown is very difficult. And I think that's specifically because of you calling out the only two examples of a seven cost card. The weakness um, struggle only came up twice for me. I think I only had the disc, no, three times in the whole game. I think I discarded a character. But honestly, even with that said, there is only one captured character right now. I literally own every character in the game except Aquaman. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with this. I had a lot of fun. And then we're going to try Crisis 2 myself probably tomorrow or Wednesday night. And later in the week, we will try Crisis 3 and 4. I had a lot of fun. I hope you liked watching. If you like Solo Crisis, check out the Solo Crisis League. Uh, myself and Flames of Games in the comments here are both members, and we've played every single round so far. I know I'm a big fan. He must like it enough that he's here every week, so that's fine by me. This is Dark Knight's Metal. This is only my second time playing it ever. First time playing it in Crisis, especially in Solo. I can see the difficulties, but I had a lot of fun, and I like the extra challenge. I hope that it feels that way every time. It doesn't feel like a, uh, a chore in the future. But... I'm looking forward to trying the other Crisis games later this week. Thanks for watching again, and uh, you have a good night.